Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Bliss Tech Solution Tuesday's Tech Tips. Um, today we're going to tell you a way that you can transfer large files uh, for free uh, and easily using something called WeTransfer. Now it's very tempting sometimes to, to try and email files um, but things like presentations, videos and stuff like that can be quite large and most email systems limit the maximum file size to around 25 to 35 uh, gigabytes and then that basically means your email won't reach the intended recipient. So we can use something like WeTransfer to um, basically upload those files and send the other person a link so that they can then download the files. Um, so you might be worried about security on something like this if you're uploading files. Now, WeTransfer is, um, yeah, is, is a reputable company um, and they do claim to be secure, but personally I wouldn't share any sensitive information this way. Use something else like SharePoint, your own internal SharePoint. Um, but this can be a quick way to, to send, as I say, things like videos, presentations that don't contain any sensitive content. So to do it, basically we go to wetransfer.com, as you'll see up here. And they do have paid plans, but for free, you can transfer up to uh, two gigabytes. Um, and simply what we do is we pop in, uh, pop in our details of who we want to send it to and upload the file. So I'll just do that quickly now. Okay, so what I've done is I've uploaded, uploaded a whole folder containing uh, mm -hmm. videos, one of my tech tip videos, which is too big to email, and I've put the email address of who I want to send it to, which is just my email address, and the from email address, again, is just my email address. But given it a title, it's automatically selected that based upon the folder name, and just a quick message so the person will know what it's about. And we click Transfer. Um, it's going to send us a verification code to an email, so I'll just quickly deal with that. So we've popped in our verification code, click verify, and that's going to upload the files and then send an email with a link. Check back here in a second and you'll see what it looks like when the files get received. Okay, so we can see here the files completed uploading um, and I've received an email and the email basically says that Whoever it is has sent you um, a, a link and basically a file name and they click on get your files and that will take the person to a location where they can click download, download the files onto their computer. Pretty simple. Um, so I hope you found this tech, uh, tech tip useful. I'll see you again next time.